Okay guys, so the dumpsters are still added. Look at them. Wow. So guys, you want to turn the stove on low heat so that they cook or fry slowly. Okay guys? Look at them. You see that? This is all you want it to do with them. This is exactly how your dumpling is supposed to be looking, okay? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to my live. Today I will be teaching you guys how to make the perfect fried dumpling. Here I have my flour, and I will be having that with some uh, baked bean and France mixed together. I have my season here as well. But the main important is I'm teaching you how to do the best fried dumpling. Hi, Tennis Kitchen, what's up? Thanks to having us out making fried dumpling today, guys. So I will be showing you how I do my fried dumpling. So to my bowl or basin, whatever you call that, I have two cups of flour here so I will be going in and I also have some salt some sugar and of course my baking powder thank you guys so much for joining yeah so I will be going in with one teaspoon salt one teaspoon salt to my flour guys one teaspoon okay and i will be going in with one tablespoon baking powder So here I have my baking powder. So going in with one tablespoon baking powder. So I'm teaching you guys how I make my perfect fried dumpling, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining. Really do appreciate that. And guys, if you like, you could add butter to it, but you don't have to okay and also so i add the salt so i will be going in now with some sugar we'll be going with half tablespoon sugar guys maybe i had one more of this one more so two two of things okay okay so now <clears throat> last but not least ensure that your hands are washed properly and no and of course about five ounces water so that's a cup right some and already washed so I'm just I'll combine the mixture and get it done okay guys you can also share the live with your friends and your family really do appreciate it 
and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel thank you sis really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please run go over there and subscribe tell a friend tell a friend all right so i'll go in now with water you have to be careful about this part because you don't want it to get all saggy so you want a perfect though right so this is how i make my fried dumpling a lot of person have been um been in my inbox asking about it on my channel so i decided to get up and make it for you guys no no important to me right because you're my fans and i really love you guys so you gradually add water Let me take your time Adding some more water to that. It's Peter Gay White. Hey, hon, what's up? Thank you for joining. So, I'm showing you guys how I do my fried dumpling. Perfect fried dumpling. This is my way. Nick's Kitchen, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. So, as you see, let me show you how the be looking. Sorry, it's coming along perfectly fine, right? It's not sticky, come on, that's what you want. Easy breakfast settings. One, two, three. The steps are easy and simple. So, and guys, any other thing you'd like to see me make, just say it. And voila! So we have our dough. So now, you will either get a piece of foil paper and put it on cover it down for about um, 10 minutes and then we get on with it so this is all you want your door not too tight Thank you guys for being here. Sassy, my door all came out sexy. Just said that one, two, three. So you follow my step, you guys won't go wrong. Oh no, we'll have no problem. So now, we're gonna just set this aside um, for 10 minutes and then we'll get the ball rolling. So, guys, what's up with you guys? You guys okay? So I will be having this with um, baked bean, franks, here I have my seasoning. So that's what about to go down. Yes, I was going to ask if you let the door rest before you use it. Yes, young chap, definitely. Give the door 10 or 15 minutes depending on the time that you have. Yes, you do that to get a perfect door. Yep. Thank you, Darnell. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so that's how I made my dough for my fried dumpling. Follow the step, easy and simple. You realize I use all the measuring measurements, sorry, so you guys should not have a problem. And it's going to be on my YouTube channel. If you guys don't remember the step, I'll definitely put all the ingredients list and the amount used. So don't worry about it. What am I going to make it with? What are you making? Oh, oh I'm making fried dumpling with uh, uh, baked bean, franks here. 
and my season just a quick and easy simple breakfast nothing fussy but i've been getting this request for so long so i've decided to do it so yeah so that's what's up there. guys thank you for tuning in what's good with you guys darnell what's up you okay Be back guys, just washing my hands. not too good lately but still here keep the faith darnell pray about it whatever you're going through so i'm just gonna eat my pot and add some oil to it be right back Good, I'm good. Thank you so much for asking. I'm okay. Doing what I do best. Cooking. I'm good. So that's that, guys. Anyway guys, I just wanted to show you the steps of how I made my fried dumpling. So, I will let you see the a pic or a video coming next. So, I'm about to end this live. Thank you so much for taking the time out. And do have a good day, my people. Love you. Bye. Okay, good. Okay, guys, there is a finished product of my fried dumpling and baked bean with sashes. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.